I'd always cared about issues, but never actually done anything about it. So I go, la la. <laughs> go on and off with bothering with shaving and then you know mainly out of laziness and then I sort of got to the point where I thought well why is it why is it laziness that I do that like why why do I have to make a conscious decision whether I make myself presentable for the world like you know it sort of got to the point where I thought well actually women have hair and I'm quite proud of it you know you don't really always want to make a political statement but um, you're sort of forced to then you, you do find that people you kind of have to justify yourself so I guess that's where you get your sort of stubborn rebelliousness and I do have a sort of stubborn bone in my body for sure if I want to do something it's not that I won't feel insecure about it or anything like that. It's not like I don't go back and forth of, of thinking about how I feel about it, but more and more with sort of just small things, um, that, like sort of decisions that I make, it's like actions speak louder than words. I was um, working for Deliveroo for about nine months. Then um, a big pay scheme change happened for a bunch of other drivers. There was huge strikes, like hundreds of riders going through the streets, beeping their horns, ringing their bells, being really angry, talking to media. I wanted to join in, but I was absolutely terrified. Because of the working conditions, you could get dismissed at any time. So my union, um, IWGB, was covering it quite comprehensively, supporting the, the drivers. It was the first time that I realised how a union would actually work. It's not something that I consciously was like, OK, I'm going to now fight the bosses. Uh, this is the thing that I'm going to do. It was more just keeping and getting involved and ended up being the chair of my branch of my union. So just talking about it publicly, um, which then went on to, I was talking on live television, like an Australian union flew me over and I talked um, and helped launch their campaign in Australia. You know, and that sort of thing I never thought would happen and it was really exciting and really amazing to see, like, you know, literally on the other side of the planet. I was talking to people really in the infancy of their campaign, people who are the same like me, who didn't know what a union could do, didn't know what rights they had, if they had any at all. You know, it, it was always really nerve-wracking, like, it was always really difficult, because you are fighting against the person who pays your bills. We helped get people who have been working for one of the courier companies in London, the Doctors' Laboratory, TDL, they're now getting paid holiday pay and people who have been working in the company for 20 years without holiday pay so that bill was absolutely massive and looking around and pe people actually going this has actually changed my life like that's really incredible it, it was and is a struggle like but you do it.